Casino Ophelia's on Altier Crossing. And the second game is basically the opposite in Eye of Horus. Motion Zeno taking an early advantage, and Casino Ophelia's pushing back with economy and just slowly but surely getting their victory. So now we're on to game three. It's going to be on Folsom Dam Deluxe. Mm -hmm. An interesting choice. Folsom Dam Pork. Yeah, no kidding. It's, this might take a while. <laughs> Get your popcorn, people, as I always say. Three. But in a 2v2, it plays out completely different. Well, yeah. But it's still a fairly large map. Like It is still a 20 by 14 map. And then... Yeah, I haven't really seen this map much, honestly. Like, it's not a map I'm that familiar with. It is... It's a map that has... It's got a bridge in the center. Yeah, it's and it has reclaim and a one mega max in the center. But there's also water in the north. Well we will see in a second. And yeah, Hokomoko pointing out something that I've been mentioning before. Moj and Shino have kind of been showing that they're much more comfortable in smaller maps and they can get away with a bit more cheesy strategies. The fact that they're going for this larger map, implying that they're much more comfortable with the late game, the high economy play, that is surprising. I'm not sure why they think they're going to be able to get away. I mean, they might be able to get away with that. We'll see. It's been an even match. Like The match hasn't been even so far. They didn't play poorly on Eye of Horus by any means. It was just you know small things here and there and how they did overdrive. and They, they got raided out once too many. And it's just... It, just tiny little things that ended up contributing to who won and who lost. So I can see them. I can see their motivation. I can see that they have, think they are confident in being able to do this. So yeah, this is Folsom Dam Deluxe. Very wide, quite large. So lots of metal extractors over the east side, over the west side, where people build this bridge. In yeah, the if center. you move to the center, you get all the free metal. Yeah, fifteen mixes. metals plus fifteen. Right across the center bridge, if you can hold it. And then, of course, in the south, there's quite a lot of metal. In the north, there's the water area, which is a bit awkward. I don't know if anyone's going to go for hovercraft or amphib. <coughs> Maybe we'll see that. I don't know. I kind of doubt it. Though. <coughs> oh, and there's reclaim on the dam. That's actually... That's a thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there is. These powerhouses. Powerhouse center. Yeah, usually these powerhouses is 150 metal. So it would be about and 50 energy. Yeah, don't forget. and the pipeline in between is 550 as well, so it's about 1,500 energy. And we actually see a very, very early caretaker, and incidentally, this is the scale. This is the caretaker, that's the powerhouse, and that's the bridge. This Can you see all the caretakers map. in the center? Yeah. That's me. Yeah, mo okay, sorry, that's... Yeah, just pointing out what for scale. How many caretakers do you see in the center? I see about a dozen. I put them there. Yes. How? I don't know. Why does this game give uh, take orders from my uh, player ID? Uh -huh. I have no idea, but I don't think it really matters. <laughs> I don't think it actually changes their build queue. I hope so, but you can see him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which should... Uh, never mind. Who cares? Surprisingly, all Moj. Oh, well, anyway. Moving on. And it looks like... No, Moj's build queue is not affected by that. Okay. <laughs> Good thing. <laughs> now, so it's actually being done. Shino going for a proxy shield bot factory. Orphelius going for a less proxy heavy tank factory. Skazi going for an airplane factory, which in this map makes perfect sense. And Clohi from Moj in the back. Hmm. This is dangerous. Yeah, I think Moj is trying dangerous. to go towards the south. Because you have two factories that can make good raiders, and if you have one air player so far away from your other player, mm -hmm. you can just get swarmed at the time you get one bomber out. <laughs> yeah, opening dirt bags coming in, but he hasn't banned it. But they the don't place. want to do the, any cheese. Moj makes uh, constructors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Moj is going strongly for the reclaim. 
Still need a few glaives here and there, though. Still wants to attack. A bit surprisingly, I'm not going for a quick gremlin just to get some scouting and anti-air, but I guess it's too large for that to really be effective. Yeah. Sino really understands the map. He mm. takes the best maxes and they reclaim immediately. Oh yeah, I should point out, so it's it's 1,500... <coughs> oh, on the bridge alone, it's about 1,100. Well, 1,200 or so. 150 have been taken so far. And then immediately below, there's a bunch of rocks as well. Which can see even more reclaim. Yeah, there's a lot. And Shino's taking all of it. He's grabbing yeah. it. Like, no tomorrow. And it's dangerous. That's a big boost in eco. You... Yeah, but that's worth it. They can get it. They can pull it off. And I mean, they're, they're pushing 15 metal into that factory, getting some vandals on top of probably bandits, pretty soon. And the dirtbags... Positioned to pretty much stop anything going through. They can't easily... Or feels like are trying to get through. But the dirtbags dying will just make that ground that much harder to get through. I don't even know... If, is this even vehicle path? No, it's still vehicle passable, but it's, it's yeah. hard. Big tanks can't get through this anymore. Panther should be able to, but anything larger has no chance. Like Reapers and Banishers won't be able to get through without terraforming. Although that looks like that's going to be happening pretty soon anyway, probably. Yeah, that Orpheus is leveling it out. But still, that slows things down. Here's that the bomber. Buys, you know, time. There's the bomber. There's the Vandals. Not enough Vandals, I think, for the bomber. But Skazi, not, not risking it. However, Glaze going on the south side of the map. Moj was indeed going along the south side. That was their plan. Take the south. Well, reclaim for now, but probably could take Metal Extractors afterwards, and hit, hit Orpheus's tanks from behind. Hey, that missile missed. It did. The train makes it a little bit wonky sometimes, but yeah, that was weird. However, too many defenders are in play, so Moj cannot do that. And Moj went for an air switch as well. Actually, going pretty solidly into air. While Shino continues to take the center and pretty much makes it unassailable. Or difficult to assail. Not completely unassailable. Just hard to assail. Oh, wow! Oh, man! All those, all those wind generators... Oh, Go yeah, the napalm. That was. I not like to pretty. see Phoenix. That was a well used Look at Phoenix. that fork. That's a lot of turrets. Mm hmm. Wait, where? No, it's a Braven, but. In the center. Razor. A razor, another razor, and a defender, and. Oh, well, the second razor hasn't been built yet. And the Faraday, that's true. That is a bit unusual. I think Sinnoh wants to make a solid wall of dirt at this point. And the movement of dirt bags, stay on the defenders with the dirt bags, and actually going to succeed in doing so as well. Pretty much one to one ratio, dirt bag to defender. That's how it goes. And more glaives coming in, but they are not able to do much. The defenders are in the way too much. There's just, there is no way to get through these clearings without getting killed. No. Shino is rebuilding. Good for them. That's what, that's what you need to do. Always, anytime you lose something, especially something big like this, rebuild it. Yeah. Well, that so now it. we have a tank. It's a rocket commander. Yeah. Well, that being said, oh boy. Skazi and Orpheus <sighs> are actually ahead in economy, despite not having the center, or only having part of the center, or less of the center. They're quite ahead. Oh, the, the Faraday went down. Yes, it did. So it's coming in to try to get rid of Banisher, I suppose. That's all they can really do. And yes, they do get rid of the Banisher, and Skazi Swiss come in, and those go down pretty quick. Yep, Banishers are very fragile. So now we have Moj versus Skazi for air war rather than Moj versus Orphelius. Slight shift. But Moj was able to demonstrate they can take air control. They know how to do so. And Aphelios' commander is getting more damage, getting pushed back more and more by dirtbags. As they create a giant dirt fortress. Stopping Aphelios' commander from moving around too much, especially moving forward. The dirtbag strategy, huh? I don't agree with it. This many dirtbags, like, the amount that was built so far was fine, but 
continuing to build more and more dirt bags. Like there's almost there's a dozen and a half. They are not free. Mm -mm. They're cheap, not free. Hey, that's 450 mil right there. Yep. Yeah, lots of defenders now. Mm, lots of eco. So it's about 50 versus about 40. Mm -hmm. And then 50s on Skazi and Orphelius' side. Oh, that air attack is brutal. Although Orphelius' commander continuing to get attacked, but it's not going to work. I don't know why the dirtbags keep being used here. They are not doing the trick. They're dealing some damage here and there. Skazi's yeah, air is strong. Also, I had a good pointing out the irony. Orphelius. Orphelius is the king of dirtbag spam. Is he? Oh, yeah. Orphelius loves their dirtbag spam. I forgot to point this out. This is the ironic thing. Orphelius is getting torn to shreds by one of their favorite things to do spam dirtbags. I don't know if Shino's doing this just to spite Orphelius or because they figure it's a good idea independently. But that's still pretty hilarious. No. Watch the scythes coming from the left. I was waiting for those. I noticed those are the south side. That Moj had built a few of those. Actually built quite a few more, in fact, along with a couple gremlins. And I was wondering when they'd be set out. That is going to be big. Probably going to go for the caretaker. Actually, they might go for this, the metal extractors directly. Or maybe the caretaker or the factory directly. The factory would be a massive blow. Especially with the air factory. And hovercraft is being built over the north. Do you see this... Uh Caretaker of Sino uh, at uh, Skazi's factory. That is good team playing. You mean at Moses' factory? Wait, sorry. You mean of Orphelius at Skazi's Orphelius factory? Orphelius is uh, caretaker on Skazi's factory. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Hovercraft. Okay, now the dirtbags are being totally wasted. The Stardust in the corner, that is stopping any useful assault from actually happening. I don't know why they're bothering anymore. But at this point, they're making walls that they can hide behind against the Stardust. Yeah, the next uh, phase will be either more turrets or bandits. Or more turret packs. And the side's moving in. They come, they avoided all the metal tractors, all the waste. They're going straight for the air factory from the looks of it. Hmm. It's the only thing I can see here. And a long line of dirt bags, giant blue line in the minimap. Because that's all it is, really. That blue line of dirt bags moving to their death. Yes. And side's going for Side the air one revealed. One scythe, but cleverly not all of them. Well, except for the fact that they all clumped up. No, yes. there they are. He there goes that cleverness. That How much can he get? I think one nano, a a solar. Well, another, another caretaker is all I think I can get. I got rid of a crane though. Yeah, I got rid of the other caretaker, and that's it. Kind yeah. of unfortunate that they clumped that up at the end because that was really clever, only revealing one. They just didn't only reveal one. That was the problem. And everyone's accessing. Although it looks like mostly because Orphelius has no energy. They were out of... They have no power plants. <laughs> I think they might have been relying entirely on reclaim, but they have no power plants. Have, okay, one solar yeah, plant. Orphelius has it. nine energy. Whereas everyone else is considerably higher, and Moj and Shino are in need of a few more caretakers. Yeah, that's one way to waste bombers. Oh, this is new music. Or the music just got slowed down dynamically for whatever reason. I have the music turned off. Okay. I have the music turned on, but it's slower for some reason. Mm, that's interesting. That sounds really cool, actually. Like just slowed and as a result they pitched down but mostly it just sounds more epic I don't know why anyway <laughs> I think it's appropriate it actually really fits the fight more so than the original hmm. anyway that's good to know but yeah jump bot proxy super proxy jump bot in the south side of the map as well probably gonna get skulls off that no further sight. Oh, it's one sight. Not really too much.
Yeah, I don't know what, what's happening to the music. My guess is frame rate. Maybe it's expecting 60 FPS and this is dropping to 30 because of the sim speed. It's starting to get bottlenecked by simulation. I don't know. I have no idea either. Then I can pull the frame rate. No, it's not frame rate based because I can pull the frame rate up a bit if I focus on the ground. Well, what's speed? The speed shouldn't be changing. It should be one. It is one. Okay, that's what I figured. It's like, I can't easily tell. Oh. Yeah, game speed is one. Okay. Yeah, that's... Ah, oh, that's a nice you know. base uh, Skazi's building in the water. Lots of energy. Lots of nanos. Yeah, Skazi's got that water nicely taken. And Moj has the ground. Not as well nice taken, things. in fact. Ophelius is trying to contest that, and they're doing a pretty good job of it, too. Oh, too bad. Poor yeah, factory. There goes that factory. That's not going to do anything. And then at the same time, Skazi going over to the north and tearing that apart. Going around from behind, basically doing what Moj and Shino were trying to do earlier. Moj in particular was trying to do with a harassment round back. Skazi and Ophelius successfully pulling that off. Although it looks now, it looks like you know, like that dirtbag spam. I do not know what the purpose of that was. Beyond yeah, in a, in a long run, run you might win. But there was more going on on the map. Far more going on in a map like this, especially in a team game. I don't understand the motivation. Oh, it was okay. If he managed to get the geothermals. Yeah. But Skazi has such a massive economy again. Wait, geothermals on this map? Oh yeah, in the center. Yeah, in the center. Two of them. Oh yeah, right. Shino does have both of them. So I think even someone killed them. Like, no, not in the back. What are you talking about? But yeah, that's... <laughs> At this point, Moj, though, their commander under some threat, but not going to die. Not likely, anyway. No. And more dirtbag walls. Dirtbag it's and walls. It's time to build walls. a factory on the on the enemy side of the map. Or let's not call it the enemy, but on the side. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Skazi's commander is right there. Proxy factory could very well work. I don't see that happening though. I know there's no cues. The commander for it. is uh, playing a dangerous game. Yeah. Especially with all those bombers flying around. I mean, really, why is the commander exactly. doing that? There's, there are so many bombers. There's there's eight what? ravens. Seven. Eight? Seven ravens. Where? Okay. One of them's in production, another one's but refueling. They're it. all uh, Skazis. Oh, you're right. Sorry, hit control Z. Yeah, you're right. There's two of them that, that belong to Moj. But still, <laughs> dangerous. Dirt As bags. Shino uh, dirtbags around Skazi's commander, and then the dirtbags can't go in the water, so so much for that. But the commander has a scuba suit. Dirtbags haven't. No, they don't. They just create a nice beach. Well, they create a big <laughs> sand castle, basically. <laughs> <laughs> That's all they do in their death throes. And Shino also, wow, that that center. Oh, come on, who's forked up? Shino, I like this game previously, but this is not really a good. Um, yeah, this is ridiculous. Two erasers over, sorry, sneaky feet overlapping. On top of yeah. everything else, and it doesn't even help because none of that's affecting anything. You're spending way too much resource to hold that position that is not attacked. <laughs> it's, yeah. Yeah, compared to all the positions that have been attacked, like, much more precious, too. Like, around their back, the south side. I mean, the north side is com almost completely Skazi and Ophelius, isn't that? That's juicy. There's no urchins or anything. That's just an open target. I really don't understand. Okay, so at this point, at this point, there are about ten ravens belonging to Moj. So Moj is in a position yeah. where they can just bomb out. They can snipe commanders. They can bomb out factories. I mean, this hovercraft factory could be killed in one sweep. Ah, uh, but Skazi's 
team is doubling uh, the eco now. Um, look, they even uh, claimed the southern part of the map. Not sure you guys are talking about with radar state. I guess the active state controls radar visibility. I mean, at this point, they aren't visible on radar. That's for sure. They appear to be visible. Like, they appear to have actual visibility. They are just not showing up on radar. <laughs> Massive mace movement. Yeah, that's... Wow, how many... So 10 maces Massive being moved over to the north side of the map. moving, marching. Cloakybot factory being built. Orphelia switching over to light vehicles as well, although it's still primarily panther spam. They do have a light vehicle factory as well, proxied, going for a bunch of scorcher spam. So scorcher panther together. Moj trying desperately to hold the north while also sending about a dozen, yeah, easily a dozen ravens over to the north side of the map to tear apart everything here. Unfortunately, most of them targeting halberds, which was a complete mistake. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got a few of those. I got a few of the maces, but those halberds, there was no point to attacking the halberds. No. Still, they have a repair pad, so it's not the biggest deal. Lots of roaches. Wait, where are the roaches? I don't see these ro Oh, there they are. Oh, yeah, wow. All the north side of the map. South side is totally uncontested. But as long as if you're fighting on this position, you know you're losing. And a tremor hitting the center, just ripping it to shreds. It's still a little bit truly ripping it to shreds. Yeah. Well, uh, still. It's nice to see a tremor being used. Skazi and Ophelius are trying their best, but there's not much they're going to be able to do by going this straightforward strategy. They are banging their heads against a wall. They need to go around the side. They need to go around the... Try to take the south out. It's not super well defended. Try to take the north out directly without hitting the units in between. Stem the tide of this production. They, they can stop these flails on the ground. But stem the production's tide. Seriously. And yeah, the middle is getting heavily tremored. There is a full-on tremor, and it is destroying the entire middle. Has it made a cost yet? Not yet. No, not yet, but it will. It's got no threats. It even <laughs> managed to take out a roach just just off the cuff, because <laughs> why not? Roach wasn't careful. Look enough. at the air. Moj does have some air. Oh, Moj has all the air. I mean, there's five... There are five ravens for Skazi, and there are 17 for Moj. Moj can wipe out anything. I don't know why they're choosing to try to wipe out dedicated anti gear. They should try to wipe out factories. Yep. Wipe out caretakers. I think you can queue up an attack order on all those. Strider uh, hub being built over Skazi. Whales. Wipe that out. Skazi has 90 metal. Yep. He likes windmills. He's not yeah. even Dutch. That's <laughs> working out well. Yeah, imagine you must build nothing but windmills. <laughs> and on the water, no less. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. That looks like Strider not being used for much yet. Ah. <coughs> Just in repair oh, power. still. Yeah, it's about it right now. But yeah, at this point, not a whole lot. Like, Moj and Shino are... They're not being sneaky. This is the time where oh, you Oh, here sneaky. come the bumpers. There's no anti-air. That's true. Well, there's panthers. But yeah, that's basically, that's death for this entire force. Forcing that <laughs> one back home, but still... Oh boy. I'd like to see, uh... What are they called? Crasher spam now. I Just because it's fun. That. Yeah. Although there's so many banishers that I don't think the Crasher spam is even going to be done. The banishers are already there for anti-air. And the center's been torn to shreds by Tremor. And those are all foldable defenses. <laughs> it takes a while. Yeah. Well, as long as you can snipe that max, you're fine. <laughs> By uh, That's the giving that thing. center position to your opponent. Let him build mean, turrets. If you can keep that max down, it doesn't matter. Yeah, because Skazi and, Skazi and Orphelius are doing the right thing. They're going around the sides. I mean, Skazi, yeah, they can't push to the center very effectively, but who cares? Skazi's going well, around the side and taking everything out from behind. 
Sino of Moesh tried to claim it the south, but he couldn't uh, hold it. Mm -mm. He was too careless with that factory in the center without any laser turrets. Yeah, just got run over by two tanks. And a reef being built in the lake for some reason. Oh, Locus Rocious, there we go again. More trickery. Boom. Yeah, it's sort of helpful. I mean, roaches aren't under the eraser. Ah, this will idea. take a while before this. But still, those bombers can be put to so much better use hitting everything on the water or hitting everything to the south. It's late now. It's too late now, but there has there was a pretty large window. And even now, it might still work. There aren't a lot of defenders or anything. There's some flails. That's the only real threat. But not a whole lot, otherwise. I'm really not sure, but yeah, at this point, Scott's even being pushed back oh, from the north. Her. Yeah, Screamer is built, built to the south. It, not sure exactly how much use it's going to have. Yeah, it's, it protects the south. That's good. But I don't but think it's going to attack. Poverty attack. No. Hmm. Although at this point, it does mean that it's going to be harder to attack the south and get rid of all these forces. But even then, that's still being torn <laughs> apart by banishers because banishers are the best anti air. As we've discussed. <laughs> By far. Oh, wow. That was a lot of wasted ravens. That was about a third of the raven count completely wiped out by banishers. <laughs> yes. But now they're uh, hawks. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Scuzzy has air control back. I think Banishers may have killed allies, but Banishers don't care. Banishers just care that they kill something. If it's an enemy, there's a slight bonus. It's time for, um... Krogoth. For what? The Krogoth doesn't Krogoth. exist in this game. Yeah, but what's his name? Um, Dante? Detriment? Detriment. Yeah, maybe. 24,000 metal, though. I don't see that happening anytime soon. They do have the economy to build one. Yeah, eventually. And the center no bridge more has bombers been broken. For you. The center bridge has finally been broken. Shino has lost control over the center bridge. Orpheus has taken it back. Hmm. <coughs> it looks like that reef is actually coming along around to Shino's factory. Yeah, at this point... Looks like Skazi's gonna go for that one last shot. And that'll be it. I don't know. The detriment would take a very long time to build. And it looks like reefs are the entire focus at this point. No one cares about detriment, just reef. Oh wow, it's just going slow. <laughs> the engine does not handle this many units well. Oh it doesn't? It no. Seems to be fine. Uh, for me I'm getting twelve FPS. I'm at 40 FPS now. I don't know. Well, I'm kind of partially zoomed out too. But anyway, and also recording. Yeah, that well depends. I think you can do the recording on a separate core. Yeah, that's true. It probably is. There's other bottlenecks too. I just like to make it look good. Anyway, banners are still coming in here. The point is, Motion Sino GG. throwing in the towel. That is game. 25 minutes in, game three. Skazi and Orpheus move on to the finals, as expected, but still, Motion Xeno put up a strong fight. Is that dirtbag? It's just, it felt like they had a really good idea of how to start, but not a great idea of how to follow through. And Skazi and Orpheus were able to deal with it into the late game. And no real follow up, and they could just. They could survive long enough as a result in this win. Yeah. That is game. <laughs> but Motion Sino do, as a result of Norm going to bed, get third place for basically free. Yes. The Motion Sino have third place. Skazi and Ophelius now must fight Anarchy and Yurga for first. This is going to be a good game. Yeah, it's going to be Looking pretty. forward to this one. That's going to be intense. Maybe in like two hours worth of game just because of how closely matched the players probably are. Still, the game ended in 25 minutes. The multiplayer games on this map usually take about three times as much. Yeah, when you're dealing with more than four players, I 
can see that. Yeah, she knows stuff getting destroyed and Okay, Moj has surrendered. Chino not quite surrendered yet, but they're probably going to. Not much they can do here. Losing their factories, losing everything. Yeah, I kind of hope that they do pick smaller maps, but we'll see. I, I, mean, I am quite surprised that the Chino and Moj did not pick a smaller map. They picked a map this big. If all the maps they could have picked, they picked one that was this big. Hmm. They weren't doing that bad at the start. No, they weren't, but that's the thing. Is, like I said, they had a really good idea at the start, but it's the follow-through, it's the late game. It's, that's the thing of the big maps that makes it really yeah. tough, is the late game. They weren't echoing. No. If the game gets stale, you should start to spam eco. And not just, they weren't echoing. Kind of how and total they, annihilation works. Yeah, they weren't echoing, and they weren't going around and trying to harass out their opponent's economy. They weren't going on all sides. They were attacking very straightforwardly. They were hitting through the bridge, and that was it. So that was that. That was semifinals. So moving on to the bronze match. Sorry, the bronze match. What I'm saying. Normally is the bronze match, but today is not. Today is going to be the finals directly. Moving on directly to the finals. Anarchy Yurga versus Gazi and Orphelius. Not sure what the first map of this is. Probably something interesting. I don't know. Hopefully. Maybe it's a boring map. I hope not. I don't know. What did you pick as the first map for the finals? They picked... Eye of Horus. Oh, okay. Huh. Okay. Well, we've seen Eye of Horus before, and that did have an interesting game on it. Kind of curious to see how this is handled. It was quite close. So we'll see how it works out. We didn't see Anakin and Yurga on it, so that. No, no, wait. We didn't. No, that's, that's right. Yeah, it was. Moj and Shino, that was one that they ended up losing barely. Now it is it. It is finals. Anarchid Yurga versus Scuzzy and Orphelius. Okay. Oh, Moj didn't have sound on. That's the thing. Mm. Yeah, Moj's sound card apparently is on the fritz, so that is actually not surprising that they weren't able to figure out what was going on. This, I mean, minimap, I would say, you know, always look at the minimap, but yeah, sound cues are really important. <laughs> There's no denying that. That's definitely something that it's kind of problematic. Okay, Ophelius wants a break. I guess I can kind of see why, but honestly, I have kind of want to get this through quickly. <laughs> if I can, <laughs> I'd, I'd rather get this through, because this is probably going to be two hours of game. Yeah. Like, we are looking at two hours easy of games in the next, because it's probably going to be 3-1 or 3-2, whoever wins. I doubt it's going to be a shutout. Oh, hey, Sandro showed up. <clears throat> oh, well, they were already disqualified. <sighs> oh, apparently Sandro had to work all of a sudden. Well, that's... Uh, whatever. Oh, okay, hospital worker, that's why they were on call. Ah, uh, okay. Kind of makes sense. 
We wouldn't want you to play games when you have people to save. Yeah. People's lives are more are a bit more important. Just slightly though. Just slightly. Okay, well, anyway. So, I don't know how long we're going to be waiting for Ophelia, so in the meantime, I'm just going to go on another intermission. So, be back when that's. When Orpheus gets back, we will return. Otherwise, intermission music. Stay tuned okay. for intermission music. <laughs>